Hello students, in this video I am going to talk about the basics of KMAP. KMAP is Carnot map which is used for the simplification of Boolean expressions. So there are total two ways with the help of which we can minimize the Boolean expressions. The first case was laws and rules of Boolean algebra. The other one is using KMAP and KMAPs are far better as compared to the rules and laws of Boolean algebra as they are less time consuming. We just need to go for the grouping and hence we will be able to get the final answer within few minutes. So let us start with the introduction of KMAPs. KMAPs are the graphical representation that provides a systematic method for simplifying the Boolean expressions. For a Boolean expression consisting total n variables, in a K-map we are supposed to have 2 raised to power of n cells. For example, if you want to go for a 2 variable K-map, then total 4 cells will be done. Similarly, for a 3 variable K-map, total 8 cells will be there. The same thing that we have discussed, how to write down a truth table, all the total possible combinations will be representing now the total of the total number of cells. So the first one is two variable k-map. In two variable k-map total cells will be four. So it is going to be a matrix kind of a thing for two cross two for the designing and implementation of two variable k-map. So let us see how to draw a two variable k-map and how to give the block numbers over here. So first of all, let us write down a truth table having two variables A and B. As we all know that we can only have total four combinations with the help of two variables. 2, 0, 2, 1. Then we have 0, 1, 0, 1. These are nothing but the decimal equivalents of 0, 1, 2 and 3. So first of all, you need to draw a K map representing total four cells as already informed you two cross two matrix kind of a thing is going to be prepared so i have drawn a two cross two, two cross two matrix over here one variable is variable a other variable is variable b now in this side a can have only two options either zero or one similarly b can have only two options either zero or one so now let us start numbering the block numbers First of all, A0, B0. So this is block. When A is 0, B is 0. This is block number 0. Next is A0, B1. So this is the block where A is 0 and B is 1. So this is block number 1. Similarly, when A is 1, B is 0. So here we have A is 1 in this block and B is 0. So this is block number 2 using this method. And 1, 1, so this is the last block. 1, 1, this is block number 3. So first of all, this is how you will be able to draw a two variable K map having variables A and B. Next is a three variable K map. So now in a three variable K map, you are going to have total 8 sets. Because 2 raised to the power of 3, that is equal to 8. And you will be able to simplify the Boolean expression that consists total three variables. Now, for the implementation of a K map having three variables, we can have two type of con configurations. One is two cross four, and the other one is four cross two. So you can implement the Boolean expression with the help of any type of K map. So I have represented both the types of K maps over here. But before that, let us talk about the truth table. So by using three variables, we can have total eight entries, four, zero, four, one. Then we have two zeros, two, one. And finally, we have zero, one, zero, one. So this is the first type of matrix that we can have. On this side, we have two variables, A, B. And here, we have only one variable, C. Why? Because here we have only two options. That is why I have just written one variable. Although on this side we have total 4 combinations, that is why I have written 2 variables. So let us start with the same. 
Now C can have only two options, either zero or one, as written over here. But A B, it can have total four combinations. So earlier I have discussed that how to write down four total combinations having two variables was zero 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 one one zero one one. But here I have not followed a binary number system. Rather, I have used the gray codes over here. So gray code. The representation of gray code zero zero is zero, zero one is one, one one is two, and one zero is three in gray code. So we are going to follow the gray code method over here. Hence, I have written this pattern. On the other hand, this is the second type of configuration that we can have a, b, and so now a can have two values zero and one. Here I have written two options because again we are going to have total four combinations on this side. So once again using gray code method, zero zero, zero one, one one, and one zero. Now how to provide the block numbers over here to each and every cell? Starting from here, zero zero zero. This is block number zero. So you can take all the block numbers from here. Next is. Zero zero one where A B are zero zero but C is one. So this is the block where A and B are zero zero but C is one. So this is block number one. Next we have block number two, zero one zero. Block number three, zero one one. Now there is a change. When I am going to represent block number four as four is one zero zero. So now this is going to shift to to the last column, one zero zero. So now this is going to be block number four. Block number five, and finally one one zero. Block number six, and one one one. Block number seven. So this is how the block numbers will be given to all the cells in a three variable K map. The same pattern will be used for the other configuration as well, where we have where we have again three variables A, B, and C. So A zero one. B zero 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 one 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 and one zero. Starting from here, zero 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 block number zero, zero zero one block number one, zero one zero block number two, and zero one one block number three. Again, one zero zero block number four, one zero one block number five, one the last one one zero block number six, and finally one one one. Block number seven. So this is how we can provide the block numbers to all of our blocks, having both the representations, your two cross four as well as four cross two matrix. The last one, four variable K map. So now this is used for representing our total four variables in any Boolean expression. So now we can have total sixteen cells, and only one configuration is possible. That is four cross four matrix. So let us implement the same. This is your four variable K map A B C D. Here I have written the complete truth table representing all the entries, all the sixteen entries, starting from zero till fifteen. So how you can write down the truth table? Eight zero eight one, four zero four one, two zero two one, and zero one zero one. Let us start filling the block numbers in each cell. Zero 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 block number zero, zero 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 one block number one, zero zero now the last one one zero, so there is a change. Block number two and zero zero one one block number three. Again, you can have a look over here that I have followed the gray code rather than a binary number. So we have zero 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 one 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 zero. It is very important to write down the gray codes over here. Next we have. Zero one double zero block number four, zero one zero one five, zero one one zero six, and zero one 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 seven. Now again there is a change. We have one zero zero zero. So now this last one is going to be your block number eight. Then nine that is one double zero one, one zero one zero ten, and one zero double one eleven. And here you will get. One one zero zero as block number twelve, one one zero one thirteen, one 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 zero fourteen, and the last one is one 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 one. So this is how you can provide all the block numbers 
to a four variable k map so the first step is always going to be identification that which k map you are going to design and that can also be done with the help of counting how many variables are given in the question so i have already discussed how you will be able to design a k map next is i am going to demonstrate you how to fill the k map for any given examples so let us start with the example but before that how you will be able to fill the k maps first of all select the k map according to the number of variables as already informed it to you then you need to identify the min terms or the max terms min terms are nothing but sop and max terms are nothing but pos min terms are represented as 1 whereas max terms are represented as 0 so for sop you need to put put 1 in all the blocks where the quotient is given to us and uh, elsewhere you need to fill zeros similarly for pos you need to fill zeros in all the blocks of k map as per the given portion and elsewhere you need to fill one let us start with example this is the first example so first of all you need to count how many variables are there so at the max we have two variables as per the given portion i have designed a two variable k map as already discussed with you we can have total four cells in a two variable k map as the question belongs to sop sum sum of products this is sop so in sop the variables are written as 1 whereas the variable bar is written as 0 so let us talk about the values over here here you will get 1 1 here you will get 1 0 and 0 1 hence 1 1 is nothing but 3 1 0 2 and 0 1 1 so that means in block number 1 block number 2 and block number 3 we are supposed to fill 1 1 1 and what about the remaining block which we have not filled yet so the remaining block we will be able to fill 0 so this is the filling of k map to variable k map next example is based on a three variable k map so we may also get such kind of a question y a b c hence three variables are mentioned as per the given question summation small m summation small n signifies we have the question belongs to sop 0 1 2 6 so all these entries we will be filling with the help of 1 so you can have a look over here i have written the proof table as well so 0 1 3 2 and 6 so all these entries are filled with the help of 1 because the quotient belongs to sop elsewhere a zero has been filled similarly you can fill the k map directly from the quotient as well 0 1 3 6 these blocks will be filled with the help of 1 so 0 1 3 6 and, and the remaining blocks will be filled with the help of 0 so this is the second example how you can fill your k map now the third example is for four variable k map again you need to identify how many variables are given in the given question next is pi capital m so what is this pi capital m pi capital m represents pos already informed you that for pos you need to fill zeros in your truth table as well as in your k map so we have 1 2 6 7 9 15 so 1 2 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 